subscribe and like LA TV yo subscribe and like LA TV yo hey 321 it's me LA pronounce like LA like the city I'm not from there but I'm breezy though want to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone you have a little life for that don't tell me what I am and what I'm not <laughs> this is my show and I run it <laughs> yeah I'm late I'm unconditionally slash unbelievably late wishing everybody out there a happy Thanksgiving, a happy gobble gobble day, a happy turkey day. But well, here I am providing you with living proof in living color. Bow, bow, bow. In living c c color, color, you can do what you wanna do. In living color, bow, bow, bow. Okay, um, so it's like Thanksgiving. November 2020 and as you can see this is the lovely food that I've made my husband was so excited about the food I was like take a picture he was like I already was going to so he had his camera ready and as you can see there he had a little emoji of himself with his dress and two love heart eyes and happy Thanksgiving because he shared it on his messengers face Facebook slash Instagram platform showing to everyone what his baby made for so i made a lot of food for my family and i decided to give everyone a cornish hen a piece instead of making one big giant turkey i wanted to do something different so i went to kroger's and bought um let me move that over okay um so i went to kroger's and bought two packages of cornish hens and the cornish hens had two Cornish hens in the pack a piece. So that means it gave me a, um, a total of four. So I was able to put all four Cornish hens into my roaster pan that my husband got me and I was so excited. It was so fun making it. So my husband and son got um Cornish hen thingies and mashed what is it mashed potatoes dressing dinner roll macaroni and cheese yams and potato salad i also made cookies from scratch homemade they were chocolate chip those were the last things that the chocolate chip cookies was the last things i actually made i don't think i took pictures of them though i i, I forgot but um Next time I make cookies, I'll put them out there. You know what I did? There's a video before here where I made another set of a batch of chocolate chip cookies. So, yeah, that video is already out. So you'll see that I made some more chocolate chip cookies. And that batch actually turned out better than my first batch of chocolate chip cookies I made for Thanksgiving. And I believe in that video, I do talk a little bit about how... The first batch, which is for this Thanksgiving, didn't turn out, but they were still good. Because what I did was I um I melted my margarine into the batter, and then I added the chocolate chips, and I forgot. <laughs> so the chocolate melted, the chocolate chips melted into the batter, thusly turning the dough, which was a pretty light golden brown, into black. So the whole cookie itself turned into chocolate, but it was still good. I put the food on really big platters. It was so fun. Our son was like, whoa, mom, is this all, like all my food? I'm like, yep. So everyone in the house got plates like that. I had pizza because that's just how I am. I do enjoy cooking for my family, but my taste for food is a little bit different. I did have holiday food the following day, but on Thanksgiving, I really like to celebrate by having something opposite. Not because I'm being rebellious, it's just because it's fun. Because my definition of holiday food is like pizza, McDonald's, or Burger <laughs> or like Burger King or something. So my husband ordered us a pizza, a couple of pizzas from Domino's the day before. And so I had pizza left over for Thanksgiving and I had so much fun. It was like, yes, pizza. 
And I think I probably feel like that because of all the cooking I do the night before and stuff. So I'm seeing all the food, so it's like I really don't want it at the time. I'd rather just have some takeout like from uh, Burger King or pizza or maybe some Chinese simply because I've been staring at the food I made for hours. But the next day I do usually more than likely have the food I prepared. And I honestly think that's what it's what it's been all this time. But saying it out loud makes it come become more clear. Cause it was really good the day I had it, so which was the next day and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that. <laughs> I do make sure I implement my exercises, thank God for those. I work out at home with my DVD every other day. It's a four mile workout, so that's motivation because it's designed for whoever participates in that particular workout to burn off a meal, uh, one whole meal a day. So I feel really good about that. And it's toning me up really well. We had a wonderful Thanksgiving overall. One of the best ones by far. I love my family so much. I love cooking for them, and I can't wait till Christmas because I'm going to be cooking for them again. This is Ellie, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. All right, people, if you like to read, then there's no other place you need to be than right here on LA TV platform. As you can see, I'm a self-published author of several books, and you can see it as it goes by. I'm so excited about all my accomplishments. And keep going, you're gonna see Sandwich Man, Shine the Floor, just to name a few. Keep on going and I even have introducing a journal line. I have so many journals self-published by myself. I can't even put them all on here. Just check me out via Amazon or just simply type in LA Understood. Bye. Ew, hey ugly! Yo, if you tired of looking at ugly people on social media, swing on over to LA TV. You'll be delighted and Fulfilled. Oh my gosh, is that a cow burning? Don't look back, run away. Oh. If you subscribe to LA TV, I can guarantee you your quarantine whores will be lifted up by my elevated excitement. Subscribe to LA TV today. Yes, LA TV, subscribe. Subscribe and like. LA TV, yo.